On the scorching sun, members of Justice for Ghana movement waited patiently to have access to the House of Legislature. The pressure group is picketing over the proposed electronic transfer levy by government which seeks to tax electronic transactions like mobile money and bank transfers by 1.75%. The group believes the tax will impact negatively on the success chalked by government in digitizing the economy. The government of Ghana is perfecting in its way of stealing from the people of Ghana. And we say that if after all the resources that you have, it is not sufficient for you to deliver development, don't come and be the pickpocket and deny the citizens their place of right. And that is why we are here, to picket before our members of parliament for them to know that the struggles that they have in parliament cannot be considered as just the members of parliament and that citizens are also opposed to it. After several hours of waiting, the group was denied entry into parliament house by the Ghana police service who were on hand to provide security. Interestingly, the main entrance of the house of legislature has been locked and clearly as you can see, it tells you that it will be difficult for you to enter using the main entrance so for vehicles who on a normal day would have used this place would have to use the other entrance which is quite closer to the Kofi Annan Institute and so this situation the protesters have already complained about their concern is that they had an arrangement with the Ghana police service particularly the Accra Regional uh, Police Command to allow them enter the parliament house but that has not happened we'll find out what they will do next to enter and monitor proceedings this is not the house of parliament we say parliament house look at where the police have blocked us so the police have become lawless they are supposed to maintain order but they are now maintaining this order because we notified you we have notified the leadership for parliament that we are coming to occupy parliament house and you come and block us denying us to enter parliament so this is not what we bargained for this is not the notification that we sent to the ghana police and i think that is unfortunate the members who came with mats and pillows to picket for three days said they will stay resolute to drum home their demands are you sleeping already yes under the scorching sun uh, you know the scorching sun can innovate your your strength it's so debilitating when you are in the sun uh, but that is what patriotism has driven me to do. We have brought our mats here and pillows to sleep. We are not interested in any theatrics or histronics or drama. No, 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 no. We are going to sleep here. And we can't sleep on the, on the, down the grass, you understand? So we will sleep on our mat and our pillow. We intend to, that is breaking our resolve. Oh. We are more stubborn than Akufado when he was in his, he had he, he, this, you know. I'm here till 27th. I mean, if, if you say you are here until 27, this evening, are you going to sleep here? Do you have your cloth here? Yes, we are, we are going to sleep here. You will see me here today, tonight, tomorrow, up to 27th. Not too long, lunch was served right in front of Parliament House. Reporting for City News, my name is Kweku Ndiyamati.